Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. All right, now listen. Before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That will definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in 2K community, and hopefully you appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m. daily double uploads. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today what we're going to talk about is my updated version of the best finishing badges on NBA 2K22 current and next gen. So this will be for both consoles. So understand that it doesn't matter if you are on a PS4 or a PS5 playing current or next. These badges translate the same. OK, so without further ado, let's just hop into it for time constraints. Um, let's talk about this. So when you talk about finishing, there's two different types of badge lines that you will go, right? You go for like badges that's gonna be for like your guards and then badges that you will be for your center, okay? So what I'm gonna do is this. First, I'm gonna talk about the most important badges and if they translate for both, I'll let you know for both. And then if they translate for one or the other, I'll let you know about one or the other, okay? But regardless, the first badge that we're looking at is gonna be posterizer, okay? So posterizer, ever since it's been put into the game, has always been the must-have badge. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna say like, hey, Demi, posterizer does not pop up. Yes, you're right, but that is a cosmetic, okay? It's a cosmetic, it's more of a visual thing, meaning like you don't see it pop up, but it's still working behind the scenes. So understand that when you do not have this badge on, you're literally, literally wasting your time as a slasher because this badge right here is literally gonna give you um, almost 70% more dunk um, animations than you could ever get if you didn't have this badge at all. So having posterizer increase the chances of throwing down a dunk on your defender is by far the number one S tier badge you can possibly have. And this will translate for, for centers that get contact dunks and also for guards, okay? And the second badge that you always wanna have Equip now again, this is going to trend towards more guard But if you are a big that has a high driving dunk, then the next one is going to be limitless takeoff Okay, limitless takeoff is like one of the most OP badges that you can have because now those instances remember in 2k 21 2k 20 when you were trying to go for a dunk and then he'll actually pull up for a jump shot or a mid-range jumper or something like that because you were too far well, guess what? Limitless Takeoff takes that away. If you have Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff, you can be behind the free throw line and you'll get the animation and start taking you in for a dunk, which is ridiculous. And also on next gen, by using the analog, which I hope maybe for 23 that they will also incorporate the analog dunk stick into current gen, it is just so OP. Limitless Takeoff and Post Advisor combination together is one of the most lethal combinations you can get for any type of badge from playmaking to shooting to lockdown this combination right here is very very op okay now the third badge must have badge right is actually going to be a little different it's going to be shifting to what i've been doing beforehand and this is why we're doing this update and this is going to be for bigs and for guards and that's going to be fast twitch so I am now starting to see how important fast twitch is. It speeds up the ability to get standing layups or dunks off before the defense has time to contest. Now, yes, this will definitely tailor more towards to center, right? But understand this. If you are a slasher and you have any type of standing dunk, if you're one of the taller slasher builds, which most slashers, and this should be around 6'5 anyway, like you're going to have 6'4", 6'5", um, 6'6", you know, some are 6'7", you should have a standing dunk. But... The thing is this, even if you're doing a layup or a dunk, this is gonna be a quicker shot to get up. And what it does is it 100% takes away pogo stick. So if an opponent, a defender has pogo stick and you have fast twitch hall of fame, you're gonna see the difference. When he initially jumps and on his way down, if you have fast twitch hall of fame, usually if you, have, if you didn't have fast twitch, he will immediately do that second jump from his pogo stick and block you. But with fast twitch, he you get it up. And I think that's something that 
a lot of people might overlook and don't value but trust me for big centers all these three right here are going to be really 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 good okay and then i want to show one more s tier badge that i think people are sleeping on but they definitely need to have all right and that is going to be unstrippable so i know people might be like what unstrippable listen unstrippable when attacking the basket when performing lay of a dunk the chances of being stripped are reduced let me tell you something if you have this thing on gold or you have this thing on hall of fame goodbye to all those going to the basket i used to do slithery finisher so this is how i found out so i used to have silly finish as you know most people get silly finisher on gold you know hall of fame and it's good because silly finisher increases a player's ability to slide through traffic and avoid contact doing gathers and finishes well guess what i was like well i'm getting stripped right so i'm not avoiding contact even if i avoid contact i still get stripped so what i did was i took off silly finisher i put it on strippable and i tell you this i do not get stripped like i go to the basket they're hit square i don't get i just don't get stripped i don't see it i have never been stripped again and again like i said this is only playing for like the past week but i have been enjoying unstrippable more than i have been enjoying slithery so just to recap slithery helps you avoid contact unstrippable says listen bring on the contact you're still not going to take the ball from me all right and i think that's where you get the differences at it's a good combination to have both but if you had to value one i'm gonna say unstrippable is better because you're going to get that contact you know going to the basket so why not just prevent from getting that x that animation where you lose the ball and you just get stripped or that type of deal so to me these are the top four badges for my s tier badge types all right and then if we was to go into like the next tier which people call like the a tier the a tier will consist of again if you are a slasher let's say for instance if you're a slasher that had like this 23 badges okay if i had 23 badges then i would go um so how many is this is that 4 8 12 16 so at least be seven left over this would be perfect okay so what i would do with my s tier badges if i was a slasher then i would then go ahead and go slithery on gold because i feel like slithery is that next a tier and then i will also go fearless finisher and i will go acrobat and i'll get these two here and then i will go giant slayer okay so giant slayer um slithery finisher fearless finisher and acrobat will be what i will call that a tier that next tier of badges that you will want to try to get you don't have to get them high you can get away with getting these on bronze um you can get um giant slayer ideally it'd be nice to get that on gold but the, what happens with giant slayer is that i'm starting to figure out is that it boosts the shot percentage of a layup attempt when mismatch against a tall defender induces the possibility of getting blocked the reducing the possibility of getting blocked is one thing but i feel like it really works in coordination because like if you do act when i do an acrobat reverse layup or go to the basket i always see these three pop up and i love stackable badges i love when badges stack together because it gives you a higher percentage of going in okay so even if you was to go something like here or if you was to get slithery and drop it down and go here you can do that but i really feel like these are the s tier badges but then now if we were to go ahead and move over because i know my bigs really want to show some love if you are a big and you have the driving dunk and that type of deal that's great but let's say for instance you are a big and you're just a solid big like you're just a big under the basket the only badge that i would say that that is that will be in this s tier badge with with these right here would be grace on the pressure so if i had to go ahead and do it you would take away limits takeoff because you don't get driving contact dunks then i will go with this combination here as a big so if you're a big and you want to go with the s tier badges these are the badges right here that you want to get off rip right fast twitch grace under pressure post riser and unstrippable if you're a big this is what you want to rock with now if you're a big that gets a driving dunk then yeah you want to go something like this which is op all right this combination right here is going to be op and if you had like i said in this instance if i had three badges left over then that's when i would look into stuff like back down punisher you know or post band technician or if you have hooks to get that hook specialist pro touch does not work if you are ha if most people don't have the shot meter on pro touch works if you have the shot meter on and it only works um that instance so if you don't have most people don't have shot meters so it doesn't make sense to have pro touch but hook specialist is still a good one so again those are the combinations that you can work with um if you're a guard you can do something like this right um and then if you're a center then again like i said if you're a center go ahead and rock out like this all right go ahead and rock out like this and get that hook specialist but there you have it my nephews and nieces um hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did just make sure you drop a like 
you subscribe to the channel. And as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi, I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. And you know, when I say I'll be back soon with the banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. Oh.